Thank you, Sunny. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks, Helene, for, for that overview. Uh, I, I really think you're a key part of what, what we do next. Um, my name is Darren Soon. I'm a policy advisor for, as you can see, the Logo Hill Central Valley Flood Protection Board. And I wanted to just highlight this because uh, unlike Scott, who's an attorney, and uses a lot of words. Uh, I'm a civil engineer who uses pictures <laughs> and very few, very few words on paper. And so um, because I recognize there's a lot of folks that might not be from California, I just thought instead of, you know, given a, a geographic uh, geography lesson, I just wanted to identify, you know, this green area and these that little blue squiggly line there represents the Sacramento and San Joaquin River systems. And there's a lot of tributaries uh, uh, to those systems. And so that green area kind of encompasses all that and that's our jurisdiction. Um, and it's, it's distinctive because as you can see, it doesn't go to the coast and it doesn't go down to Southern California. And so you can hear from Mark uh, Stradley later on too in, in, in an area where, you know, it's not necessarily in the board's jurisdiction, but we are the state agency responsible for the operations and, and proper operations and maintenance uh, of the flood system. We, uh, we regulate uh, several, about approximately 82 local maintaining agencies. So these are cities, counties, and other flood control districts that have flood control responsibility, as well as we work with our partners, the Department of Water Resources, to um, maintain the, the flood system. And they, they operate, maintain approximately 10 uh, what we call maintenance areas. These are areas that the state has taken over from uh, local maintaining agencies to maintain the system. Um, you know, one of the uh, a Sacramento County supervisor, uh, county supervisor said just last night, I heard him say homelessness is uh, the most political and, and uh, complex political and societal uh, issue of our lifetime. And I don't think that's an understatement. And so um, I think Helene and Scott had, had, had talked about, you know, a lot of things we're trying to do uh, on a global scale, I mean, meaning trying to be comprehensive, compassionate, but we also recognize everybody in here recognizes in the flood management world, it's bleeding over into our flood system and in critical infrastructure. And so I also want to extend my thanks to NASMA for bringing us all together, because I do believe that um, through uh, all of us working together, and these are folks outside of the Ninth uh, Circuit as well, and, and Scott uh, articulated some cases here that are outside of the Ninth District, it, it affects us all nationally. And so bringing us all together to raise awareness of the issue, to uh, advocate together at the federal level and get federal attention on it, and then uh, having a, a Lean's uh, organization bring all those federal agencies together who do things that don't necessarily are, are not necessarily in our line of business, <laughs> the housing, the mental health services, you know, um, bringing them all together to, to help with this issue, I think is is really needed. So again, thank you, NASMA, for bringing us together. Um, this site here, and I'm and I, I just want to bring this. This is just you know one example, and I'm and I think Mark will have more. But <clears throat> many of you on this call can share similar stories of these types of things. And this encampment is one of our um, reclamation districts, RD one thousand, in the Sacramento area. It's on um, the north side of Sacramento, called the Natomas area. Folks have have uh, not heard of that. Um, but there's about a six mile stretch in there that uh, where a lot of the homeless encampments are, are located. And this was one uh, area in particular. Um, the, Kevin King, the general manager for, for RD1000 shared with us, and this was actually on the news and it led to some legislation that the, the flood board um, and, and others uh, tried to get through legis passed through legislature to deal with this. Um, we were unsuccessful, but we were successful in again raising awareness uh, to this growing issue. And what's interesting about this is that when they discovered this this uh, uh, um, hole in the ground essentially, um, this was dug, dug into one of our levees, uh, but when they came back, there was a, a tent over the top of it. And the reason why that's important is because it really emphasizes the difficulty of being able to inspect these types of areas uh, on, an, on a regular basis. And it really highlights that you don't know necessarily what's going on uh, when the, these tent structures are out there on the levee system and, and you're not able to see what's really happening. So the, the integrity